clicking on this video. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Today is August 2nd. This album came out on August 3rd. Um, I got this tapestry a while ago because I'm like, oh yeah, August is coming up. That's when the Def Leppard album came out. And I looked the other day and I was like, oh, shit. So tomorrow's the 3rd of August, which is the 35th anniversary of Def Leppard's Hysteria, re released August 3rd, 1987. So, today is the second, but by the time you'll see this, it'll be the third or past the third, what the hell ever. So anyways, so back in 1987, I was really excited that Def Leppard was coming out with a new album. And I saw the video for women, and it premiered on MTV during the daytime. It just, they just showed it. I can't even remember if they will premiere it or not. But anyways, they showed it, and I was like, hey, this is cool. And I love that beginning riff, which I used a little bit in the intro there. Hopefully I won't get astray for that. So I said, oh, hey, this is really cool. This sounds awesome. It's going to get faster. It's a slow song, but it's going to get faster, and it didn't for a while. It did eventually during the solo. It got like a touch faster. But, you know, a lot of those people, a lot of people in South, the other people who don't like, you know, the newer stuff from bands like this and whoever else, um, are like, oh, you don't like it because they're slow songs. You want every song to be fast. Has nothing, it has nothing to do with speed whatsoever. Um, it has to do with the song's awesome or not. And Women is the perfect example of a song that is slow, but still kicks ass, and it's still awesome. One of my favorite songs ever. I just love the song. It's an awesome one. So when this album came out, I was talking to my other, you know, rocker friends and everybody else and other people. Hey, Def Leppard's got a new album. Have you heard it? No. Yeah, yeah whatever. There was not much really hype about it. I was just like, oh, geez, I guess nobody really cares about the Def Leppard album that much. And then when, when they released the second single, um, Animal, that video was kind of just not a corny one too. I don't mind that song, but once again, it, well, it reached the charts, I guess. It reached Dial on TV or something like that. That song was okay. There was something. Within the first week or two, I wind up buying the, the album on tape cassette, of course, and... I thought it was great. So the second song off the album was Rocket, which I like. It has a cool has a cool feel to it. I like the chorus. I like how it goes. I like the vocal performance on it. And the song Animal I already spoke about. The next song, Love Bites. And Love Bites is just another perfect example of a slow song that is not that exciting or that great. Love Bites I thought was kind of boring. Even before they released a video for it, I really wasn't wild about it. But, to, but of course, once they came out with the video for it, it was like the sixth or whatever video they released. I got tired of it really quick. I just really wasn't wild about it. Pour Some Sugar On Me was a, a cool song. I like the video. I like the sound of you know, how it was done. Even of course, if it was overdone, I'll get to that in a minute. But... <clears throat> The song Pour Some Sugar On Me, you know, it's got some corny lyrics, it's got some, it's a corny chorus, Pour Some Sugar On Me. And that's, of course, when they were huge, that's when things started exploding. Um, there were several songs that, of course, in the videos, what made people aware, oh yeah, hey, Def Leppard's got a new album out. And some people were probably thinking it came out in 1988. Because between that, towards the ending of 87, throughout 1988, and halfway through 1989, I mean, just... They kept on releasing a video every other month, and then of course it became a hit. And all the songs are good, nothing beat women though. But what I really like about the song Pour Some Sugar On Me is that middle part where it's palm muted. It's going to, 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 I play a little piece of it, but I might get a copyright claim. So you know what I'm talking about. The part that's palm muted, that little kind of guitar riff sequence thing that's in the middle of the song Pour Some Sugar On Me. I really like that one. That's an awesome one. The next song, Armageddon. Um, I don't get it. I mean, they're talking about Armageddon, and they're like, aren't you getting it, and I'm getting it, and it's just, I don't know, it's just something that, uh, I, don't, I think it's a song that's not to be taken seriously, and there's something about the song, it's okay, I don't mind, it has kind of a good rocking groove to it, I guess. Once again, they released the video for that, and it went overboard and everything. That song is pretty good, I like that one. Gods of War. Um, this is probably definitely one of the most epic songs on here. Now, what they did was they they recorded a part in the midsection 
where there's lasers and you hear Ronald Reagan's voice and all this other stuff. Really cool and sounds epic. And I think it's an awesome song. Gods of War. One of my favorite songs off the album. Don't Shoot Shotgun, that one's okay, pretty good. Run Riot, that one's kind of a fast one. That's probably my third favorite song off of the album. That's for sure, I'm going to look at the card, I'm not going to edit this hysteria. Okay, I didn't write hardly anything down because I have a lot of memories and I know like, the last song on the album is Hysteria. Once again, kind of a slow, boring song. Look, I love this album cover. It's an awesome album. Um... I mean, it's a really good album. It's a little bit below awesome, but I like the cover. I like the artwork. Um, oh, here's a little clip. Here's a little screenshot. And that little picture is in the video for Fooling. So that's where I think this, uh, where that was inspired from. That little triangle thing with that girl screaming at the face. That's where I think it was inspired from. Look, Def Leppard's got the new album out, Diamond Stars, Halos, and what the hell have you. The reason why I'm going back to this one and not um, reviewing that newest one is because the newest one is lame. There's some really cool stuff on here. I'll get into Def Leppard some other time, but, you know, the specifics of it and all that other stuff. But I just want to say this album was great. The other albums are great and awesome. Um, so here's the thing. Simple fact, and I'll get right to the point. It was kind of overproduced. It was cool that Mutt Lang produced it again and worked with them again. But as you see on like bringing on the heartbreaks and this one, they overproduced it, they overpolished it. So like, for example, on bringing on the heartbreaks, you don't have one or the voiceovers with two or three Joe Elliott's. You have 10 or 12 Joe Elliott's singing that part. And if you, you know what I mean, if you've seen that movie, the Def Leppard Hysteria, that little television made movie that they did anyways that's it for hysteria this is a really good album i like it um it's been 35 years which is definitely hard to believe um i was just hoping more from them but i will get into that in another video i like this album did you like this album hate this album i'm sure a lot of you guys probably hated this album but everybody i know that hates this album Likes one or two songs off the album. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.